On today's show, we're going to be talking about Metaverse ETFs. So, welcome to Financial Brew. My name is Candace, and once more, I'll be your guide as we take one more journey into the financial, or should I say, Metaverse. Unless you've been living under a rock, I'm sure you've heard the word Metaverse thrown around. Perhaps you heard that Facebook changed their name to Meta, or maybe... Maybe if you're into crypto, you've heard about the metaverse coins and how they're going way up in value right now. Well, in this video, we're actually going to talk about the two ETFs recently released in Canada that are metaverse themes. They're technically, they're metaverse ETFs. So before we begin, we need to ask that question, what is the metaverse? So the metaverse, it's been around for a while. It's it's kind of always been envisioned as this virtual reality place where you have like an alternate life or an alternate universe or just alternate stuff, a place where we can do things virtually, whether it be gaming or, or something else like that. I mean, really, if you think about it, it's kind of a social thing. It's a lot like social media. Uh, it's a place that we can interact, but it's much more than that. If you were to add the e-commerce aspect, it's a place where we can sell things. It's a place where we can, we can make money, of course. And of course, it all involves the internet. So it is an extension of that. And I did mention gaming. So there is definitely some gaming involved as well. But it's more than that. It's a virtual meeting place. It's a place where businesses can come together. And it's a place where you can meet with your doctor. It's a bit of everything. There's really so much to the metaverse. And as this expands and builds, it's going to be massive. There's going to be a lot of companies making a lot of money. That's the reason that, well, that's the reason we have Metaverse ETFs. Now, before we jump into these specific ETFs, let's just ask ourselves, well, what exactly is an ETF? So an ETF, as you know, is an exchange-traded fund. It's basically just a bundle of companies that are all nice and glued together under one banner so that way there, if one company's performing badly, the other companies will make up for it. So that creates called what we call diversification. So that's what's cool about ETFs. So the first one that we're going to talk about today is called Mesh. It is, of course, one of those two Metaverse Canadian ETFs. Mesh is an Evolve Metaverse ETF. You probably have heard of Evolve before. They make make quite a range of ETFs, so that's always a good thing to know when you're looking at a brand new ETF is that they're associated or at least being managed by a company that has a good standing in, in the marketing world, and Evolve certainly does there. So this is definitely going to be a reliable ETF. Now, they just began trading on November 29th, 2021 for around ten dollars a little bit less um mind you if you're watching this video a couple of years from when i recorded it um, it'll definitely be worth more meaning that i think you're going to see some definitely great growth on this etf over time it is available on wealth simple so anybody who um wants to start trading in this right away you can grab it commission free over on wealth simple um, above me, I will drop, of course, my Wealth Simple referral code. That'll get you two free stocks when you sign up with Wealth Simple. I'll also get a stock as well, so it works out for both of us. Uh, there is a management fee, zero point six percent, and most ETFs, of course, they are managed, so you will run into a small management fee on these. And this one here has twenty five holdings. So that means there's 25 companies that Mesh actually holds. Well, let's take a look and see who they have in the the pipeline, shall we? Holy banana bread. There's a lot of good companies in that list. Um, Looking up at the top, Blizzard, I find really interesting. I didn't realize that they were really moving into the metaverse, but they are a gaming company, so that does make sense. Um, Adobe, AMD... Um, Alibaba, for those people who like that. I think Alibaba is a Chinese company. Uh, Google, Apple, Audiodesk, Cloudflare, EA, EXP, Intel, uh, Matterport, Meta, of course. Well, you know, otherwise known as Facebook. Uh, Microsoft, Neotis, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Roblox, C, Snap, Sony, 
Taiwan Semiconductor, uh, Tencent, Unity Software, and of course, Disney. That is a really diverse uh, listing of companies. You'll also notice too, most of them are American, but there are some from Asia and Europe. And that's, um, that's fantastic, actually. It gives you a little bit of exposure into some of these foreign markets that you probably not normally are exposed to. So this is a, a very solid ETF, in my opinion. Certainly one that um, I, would not be, uh, I would not be too shy to add to my portfolio. Of course, before you do add it to your portfolio, do your due diligence. My research should just be the beginning of the conversation. Um, cool. This is cool. Let's take a look at the next one, shall we? So that was Mesh. Uh, the next one, of course, is MTAV. Now, they are a Horizons Global Metaverse Index ETF. Horizons, once again, like Evolve, Horizons is known for some of their ETFs. They do make some good ones. And um, that gives MTAV a little bit of a, a little bit of credibility to start right out the gate. Uh, they are a little more expensive uh, than Mesh. Uh, I believe MTAV was coming in at about... I think it was $25 the last time I looked. So you're looking at, you know, at least double in price. Um, now they began trading just before. So they technically did beat uh, Mesh, but honestly, a couple of days doesn't make too much of a difference in the trading world. Uh, so they began trading on November 26. They have a slightly lower management fee of 0.55%. And they have a bundle of 50 metaverse exposed companies. And that's kind of the key. Like when you're looking at the companies, even with Mesh, you may look at a company and say, okay, what is Adobe? What are they doing in the metaverse? Well, I mean, Adobe, a lot of their software will be some of the, some of the software that's actually used in developing parts and assets within the metaverse. Uh, as the metaverse looks more and more pretty, I guarantee you Photoshop will be involved in some way, shape, or form. And that's kind of the whole general gist with the companies that are picked. Now for MTAV, they have, uh, like I said, they have 50 holdings. Um, I'm not going to give you the list of the whole 50. We're not going to sort of ramble through. We can. We did that with the last one just to sort of give you a bit of a taste. But uh, their top 10 holdings for MTAV, so MTAV, or Metaverse, that's, I think that's what these abbreviations kind of is. It's an abbreviation for Metaverse. Uh, their top 10 holdings are like Apple, NVIDIA, Amazon, which I didn't see on Mesh, uh, Microsoft, Google, uh, Meta, uh, Adobe, Tencent, and Visa and Disney. And I also didn't see Visa as well. So, But it makes sense because Visa is a payment platform and they are getting into crypto. And a lot of the Metaverse uh, crypto is a form of payment per basically the preferred form of payment in a lot of the metaverse. So that makes a lot of sense that we're seeing all of this. This is actually fantastic. So you've got the two, you've got Mesh and you've got MTAV. There are two of them that are worth at the very least putting on your watch list. And keep in mind too, if you're going to invest, you should always check with your financial advisor because I cannot provide you financial advice, only education. So those, of course, are our stock market ETFs, so the stocks. But there's always going to be that next question, and we know what that question is. What about a Metaverse crypto ETF? I did do a little bit of research. We currently do not have one of those available yet in Canada. And if there's one in development, I haven't yet stumbled upon it. But if you have, and I missed it, then definitely throw it down in the in the comments below because I'm hugely interested in, in the crypto side when it comes to uh, the metaverse. Because as I did mention earlier, the metaverse uh, is using crypto in many of the, of the games and platforms as the main form of currency. Now, what you can do though while we're waiting for a crypto ETF or if you want to sort of stay abreast of the crypto side, then check out uh, every Wednesday night on Tim and Nancy Danter's channel. The link is down below. We've got Crypto Night in Canada. I am a contributor and I do a top 10 crypto coins, uh, metaverse coins every single Wednesday. So drop in. 
We'll uh, tell you what the top 10 are and we'll explain some of the coins and break some of them down for you. And uh, that will probably be the first place you'll hear about <laughs> a, um, a crypto ETF once one is available. Of course, the metaverse is only going to be going up from here as we continue to support it. Speaking of support, if you like this video, click on like, click on subscribe, hit the bell notification, just so you'll know whenever I come up with another idea, whether it's in or out of the metaverse. Anyway, it's been fantastic talking to you guys today. Take care until, well, until our next video.